I am Dr. Shazil and today this 20 years old male patient presented with history of trauma to the eye with a thorn while working in a garden. He presented to me with shallow anterior chamber, sedal positive anterior capsule ruptured and traumatic cataract formed. Now he told me it was a long thorn and it not only perforated the cornea but also punctured the anterior capsule and caused cataract. So I immediately shifted the patient to OT gave him 2.5 ml peribulbar local anesthetic uh, and now repairing it after painting and draping i made side port now injecting the viscoelastic to make anterior chamber uh, and keep the distance between the cornea and the ruptured uh, anterior capsule as it was a small punctured wound, 1-10-0 nylon suture is enough to seal it. So I am applying 10-0 nylon interrupted suture just below the center visual axis. So it should not be in the axis and it should completely seal the corneal wound. Now you can also see small round white spot uh, and that is uh, most probably fungal keratitis its margins are fluffy so to be on the safe side I'll inject intrastromal antifungal uh, at the end of the surgery and you can see I am applying the knot now as it's the one rate limiting not so it should not be very tight and it should not be very loose if you have to choose between a tight and loose at least it should be on the tighter side but not on the loose side so you should titrate its traction and now i am burying it I have buried the knots knot and now I will also bury the cut ends now aggressive approach uh, is uh, necessary to start with uh, to halt the progression of the fungal keratitis that's why I started uh, post-op topical antibiotic, steroid, antifungal and cycloplegic drops and now I am applying one suture to seal the side port that I have made and in order to check anterior chamber is well formed or not I put air and it stayed it means wound is well secured and now here you can see the intrastromal how to inject intrastromally antifungal you can see the haze cornea become hazy when fluid is injected antifungal is injected so that's enough so the patient has got a ruptured anterior capsule so later on when the corneal wound completely seals and the infection subside we will then proceed towards the cataract surgery traumatic cataract uh, irrigation and aspiration uh, with the four label i oil implant so that uh, we will do in later stages uh, you can do it uh, in a primary setting but as the cornea was uh, perforated um, keratometry was not able to give us uh, correct readings so that's why we thought of doing it in two steps so first step corneal tear repair and second step cataract surgery so i hope this patient will regain good vision thank you very much